So I've been asked a few times just to quickly go through my kit. I say a few times. I've been asked maybe three times. <laughs> Two or three. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Any excuse. Um, and this is just for a, an overnighter, maybe a weekend. And it's uh, bushcraft, my bushcraft bag. So the bag itself, the Carrymore 45 litre it's a sabre sf with the rocket pouches on the side they give i think 12 and a half liters each so you've got more than enough room in there i always keep my uh, my smaug on the outside my scarf because i use that as a towel uh, it's just good to to have it i don't know why i do it, it breaks up the color and that as well uh, down the sides oosh, i always carry an old tarp with me uh, that's just to put under my hammock or outside my tent or just to sit on if it's raining. Oh, yeah, this this doesn't include food uh, and booze and drink and whatever. And my knife is my my SE3. Um, right, and then under the lid is the handle of the axe that I take with me. It's the Grants for Brooks. Uh, and your rocket pouches, you can tie off your, the, the head of your axe so that it doesn't fall out and then you can just hide it so people can't see you wielding it in the woods. So I'll take that with me. Sometimes I'll take the smaller one, depending on what sort of trip it is. In the top, the bucket lid, first thing I get to is the uh, snug pack. In, it's the enhanced patrol poncho carry that instead of a bag cover and a waterproof coat because this can go over me and also over the bag as well. Also in the top of the bag for easy access I've got my first aid kit which has just got the usual gear in it with a few added extras, a few painkillers and things. And I've got an Israeli bandage just in case something mental happens. <laughs> and then a, a little Pocket Boy saw, that's the Pocket Boy, um, I think it's the 130. Uh, my pouches, I've just got two things in here normally, I just have my electrics bag which is in a dry sack, that's got my chargers, um, my torch, batteries and my little mini speakers in case you want to listen to some podcasts or tunes. And then, this is the, my possible bag, this has got all sorts of miscellaneous stuff in it. I'll have a little look, eh? We've got my uh, UCO candle with an anti-mosquito candle in it. I'll be quick. This, this is coconut oil, solid coconut oil, which comes in handy for all sorts of different things. You can use it to cook with, um, you can use it to sort of rub on your skin, you can, I use it to uh, treat my knife. Hobo fishing kit, it's just a bit of polystyrene with some line around it, and hooks. I got my Sawyer Mini, which is just a filter system for procuring water. Toiletries, I said toothbrush, Hand sanitizer, toothpaste, whatnot. Avon. Avon Skin So Soft. Good for bugs. And this is. Uh, <sighs> I take this just to hone my knives or my axe. Or whatever it is it's just a little bit of honing compound and a, a bit of leather that I use for a strop I'll just find a, a flat bit of tree or whatever and just to maintain an edge my fire kit and I've had that for same little bag for years I got it was an old liner bag that's just got my uh, Vaseline cotton balls in there, a fire steel, lighter, 
Ranger band and uh, my my char tin that I used to make my char cloth and whatever in there. Pan metal pan scrubber. Wet wipes. These uh, you have to make sure the sort of the biodegradable flushing ones. Um, and then just paracord. That's me possible bag. <laughs> and in the other side, I always keep my sort of cooking gear. And this this little possible bag pouch. It's one of the side pockets off the DD um, Bergen. Just a camping trowel. More a carving knife, a catapult, uh, catty ammo, that's me, uh, my crook knife, oh just for carving really, my cook kit, so this changes, sometimes I'll bring a bit, uh, some gas, sometimes I'll just rely on um, natural fire. But in this instance, I've got my Trangia. This is if I'm going for a couple of days. That's got the Trangia fuel, fuel in it. Ten pegs, just three ten pegs that I can... I put them in the ground and then put my pot on top of the ten pegs and then I'll put my uh, Trangia burner in the middle of that. So that's, that's your cut kit. And then I've got... Right, me... Uh, Clean canteen, titanium spark, um, that's the light my fire titanium spark, the Tux, uh, titanium 900 milliliter pot, that's got a lid on it that that keep at the bottom there, and that's your cook kit. So, uh, on the underside of the, uh, of the bag, of the lid, I don't really carry much in there, just whatever, I have a little... Collins Gem food for free book. <laughs> What's that? Some spicy chai tea and a lighter. <laughs> Fair enough. And then in the main section is where I usually just keep my, that's where I, my shelter and my spare clothes. So first thing we come to is the tarp. That can get right, right small. That's the uh, DD Super Light tarp. Three by two point summit to other. We're hammock camping, so the DD Frontline hammock. Spare clothes in a dry bag, which is just merino wool leggings, merino wool top. Um, and just that's it really and then a, a, a down jacket just in case it gets cold tiny little bag this is the Van Gogh ultralight um, 350 and that's just my summer bag so This is the Pocket Boy's uh, big brother, and this is the big boy. Folding saw. That just makes light work, work of <laughs> of most things really. We use them at work. It's brilliant. And that just slides down the side of the pack, and definitely worth bringing. It just makes everything a lot easier. What else? Oh, the uh, this is the uh, the Alp kit airbed. And a mammoth inflatable pillow for comfort. And I just I, I just use the pillow and I wrap it in. It's not very nice material, so I just wrap it in my my head scarf. And that's it. We just slid down the back. Is the bush box XL because that can that can double up. It, you can have controlled fires on it. You can use your Trangia burner on it, and it, it it's quite flat, so it just slides down the back. I mean, it weighs the same. As, as I've said before, it's, it weighs the same as one of Dolly Parton's tits, but 
definitely worth bringing. If you can afford the titanium one, I'd definitely get that. Small windshield to use with the cup kit. And then, this is my, probably my most used favourite bit of kit that I've got in here. Oh, little seating pad in the back there. Comfort. Is that it? That's it. Empty bag. And so in here is just this is the uh, other the grill kit thing. Look at that. That's taken some hammering over the years. And all it is is a a cake rack for cooling cakes on. A lot lighter than any conventional sort of grill that you'd put in an oven. So top tip, a cake rack cooler. And I have that with four temp pegs that you can put in the fire as an option to elevate it. And then just keep it in the plastic bag so it can get quite chatty. So there it is. That's my kit for a, a typical summer bushcraft weekend. This area of the blanket would be reserved for copious amounts of wine and beer and food. It's all quite interchangeable, I've got a lot of different options, but that's just something that I would use typically for a bushcraft camp. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too boring <laughs> and I hope it didn't drag out too long. Um, apologies, apologies if it did. Do I just look like a floating head? I'll try and put a link to the majority of the stuff that I use down here near my nads under the video. If you've got any questions about kit then throw them down and I'll answer them as best I can. Uh, it's, it's just what works for me. That There is no right kit and wrong kit to bring really. Um, it's, it, it's ever changing whatever kit, no one, well I can't imagine anybody sticks with the same kit throughout their whole sort of bushcrafting camping life because it's you know you you evolve you change and your kit changes with you so everyone's on a different journey and everyone's at different stages of that journey so everyone's kit's different and um, and it's all relative to what you want really so yeah what do what do what works for you <laughs> this works for me tried and tested tried and tested I'm not going to do loads of these sort of videos, but I'll maybe do one for each season and a, a lightweight one as well. Just put it in a little playlist so you can have a look. Because if it helps people who are just starting, then that's all good. Uh, I hope that was useful for someone somewhere. <laughs> who knows? But I know that, you know, I like to watch kit loadout videos and I like to see what people carry in the bag for inspiration and you know curiosity so hopefully i know not everyone's going to find it informative or helpful but hopefully somebody will uh, and uh, and that's for you <laughs> that somebody <laughs> thanks for watching P -p -p peace <laughs>